idea of this double album came about um, the festival summer in 2011. Um, I had an idea about it, and about making a double album, and I did present it to uh, to the band while doing the festivals. And uh, people got a little bit skeptical at first because um, there was going to be a lot of songs to be made, obviously, and um, we didn't really want to, you know, compromise about, you know, if you have like enough songs to fill one album, and uh, then you have a second disc that will go downhill so we didn't want to compromise with that obviously people liked the idea and uh, got into the uh, mindset from there basically and um, we started writing songs and uh, um, I think I had like by the time we hit winter time 2011 I had like maybe two three songs and then in the beginning of 2012 uh, we all started writing a lot of songs and um, we had a lot of inspiration, so it was a really natural flow, uh, and uh, it was sounding really, really promising. So after a while, we were not really worried about it, and that we were gonna be able to fill up a, a double album. We thought it was a pretty cool idea to uh, be able to uh, be a bit more progressive. You know, it's kind of hard um, sometimes, you know, to, to fit everything on a, on a regular album. You know, and and we I think we needed the challenge and. Uh, to turn things into something positive after all the chaos with, with Peter being back and forth into the band. And as far as you know, the, the songwriting process in, in general, I mean, we do live uh, spread out all over the planet, basically. Uh, uh, we have me living um, half year in, in Sweden, half year in Toronto, and then we have Flink living in Portland, U.S., and uh, then we have uh, Dirk living in Los Angeles, and then we have. Uh, keyboard player Sven living in, in, in Sweden still and then we have Sylvain living outside Paris, France and, and then we have David uh, living in Stockholm so it's not really you can do any you know spontaneous rehearsals um, so basically we've just been sending you know ideas back and forth via email and uh, it's been working pretty good I guess we're just used to it and and about one week before entering the studio, um, we were all living at my house and had barbecues and, and got in the mindset. Um, it was um, in the end of the summer, and uh, we also did rehearse a little bit to just go through the songs. But um, it was a pretty um, <coughs> um, open recording. It was nothing was really set in stone. Uh, we did have the the. Uh, you know the skeletons so to speak we did uh, experiment a lot in the studio actually and uh, especially w with lyrics I usually have all the lyrics done before entering the studio but this time I wrote a lot in the studio and as far as you know vocal ideas I left it really open and, and uh, was pretty spontaneous about it and I, I'm really pleased with how it turned out we came up with a lot of great ideas in the studio and I think that also goes for you know everyone else you know it was it was definitely open for experimentations so this uh, new album is the first album with uh, David Anderson on, on guitar and uh, we've known him for years actually um, he uh, first uh, was in the band um, in 2006 that's when we met him and uh, he did uh, session guitar for the band. He did uh, actually two North American tours and then he also did um, uh, Japan Australia tour as well. So we've known him for quite a while and uh, we've been staying uh, remaining friends ever since then and uh, we also created this other band together, the Night Flight Orchestra and uh, we felt that he was definitely the perfect fit for the band. I think he contributed with a lot of interesting stuff for the album. He wrote about seven, eight songs on the album and uh, he's great with melodies, great with you know uh, riffing and all of that and uh, has a really nice um, way of, of creating very melancholic melodies and uh, so I, I think that really fits soul work and he, he's been a part of the soul work sound for quite, quite some time so he's really familiar with it.